everybody, and thanks for coming back for another puzzle. This time I have a brand new one from Selkis on the Mechanical Puzzles Discord. This is their first ever puzzle, uh, so I'm excited to get into that. I've got number 85, as you can see here. Uh, here's the little sheet that came with it. The goal is to free the guitar pick, which is this crocodile head right here. Uh, it's a sequential discovery, so, so we'll see some pieces uh, come out. Uh, you got to be... His six-year-old son knows the solution, is able to solve it, uh, so no need for force or anything. No banging, no spinning, um, nothing strange, just deduction and the right moves. No external tools, it does come with a little stand, uh, but it is not a tool on this. Sometimes you see that, in this case it is not. Uh, so, we're looking to get the guitar pick out. Maybe let's zoom in a tad here since it's a smaller... You know, it's a smaller puzzle, so we don't, I don't want to you guys be able to see what I'm doing. All right. We've got our stopwatch. Here we go. All right. As usual, we'll take a look and analyze the whole thing uh, and see what we can do, deduce, and then go from there. So the exit for the guitar pick is going to be this on the top here. Uh, it's got a little slot. Uh, what's keeping it in place as I move this around I can see that little yellow piece that window shifts ever so slightly uh, we've got a red piece here a red piece here this switch which is uh, spring-loaded goes up and down so allow this piece to fall out it sure does okay so we've got this little P looking thing it was just sitting behind Let's see, how is this in here? Like this. And I was sitting, okay, it was sitting, the stick of the P was in like this, so it was unable to come out until we dropped this down. And then we got it. We've got this button here, which maybe we'll use that to push the, the pick up. We've got this little thing. I can kind of push it. There you go, it's spring-loaded. It doesn't go down very far, but I can use this tool to push it a little bit. What happens if I push it and then push this? Nothing. On the back we've got... Um, this? I don't know if this is a diagram of this. It looks like it might be, because it's got the rectangular cutout. It appears circular. Um, so it's not a full circle, it's got a little cutout in it, and then it has this line here, so maybe you have to rotate it, and this is a pin that'll drop into this uh, opening. I'm going to call it, it kind of looks like a Pac-Man, so the mouth. We've got an arrow saying likely that it needs to rotate counterclockwise. Uh, we've got this hole here, which there might be a pin in there. What happens if we push this and then turn it? Does a pin drop out? No. We've got these two holes here. There is a red piece that slides up and down in this slot. Um, this hole here, which I can see a ball bearing. There's a ball bearing inside this hole here. We've got this, which doesn't move at the moment. Um, so it seems like our next move, we've got this slot here. Next move might be to just try all these different... Uh, I suspect it has to do with this. This looks like it'll fit in there nicely. Yep. Okay, and we can rotate it. Does it so does it need to go over here? And then does something fall into place? Oh, there's two. There's a second down underneath here uh, is another disc, a yellow disc, that has a similar hole. So if we turn it like this, and then we can push it down into that second disc. There we go. Now we can rotate it. Um, is it something with this? So now... Oh, this is affecting something else. Here. Unless that's just the spring. Well, when I hold it this way, it doesn't do anything, but if I hold it this way... Something is, you can kind of hear... Something's reacting there. So I need to hold this and then rotate it. 
do I need to hold it and tilt something into it? Okay, what if we... So there's a little arrow on the red with a dot. What if we line it up matching this, and then will something fall into it? So, kind of like this, and then we do this. Something fall into it. Now, is it something with this? Okay. I'm just going to try all four sides, see if something will drop into there. Like, now I do this, and then... Oh! Oh! Okay, so something fell. Now it's locked. So let's see. Okay, when well we had it um, with the dot facing this direction, something fell in, just kind of like I suspect it matches here. Uh, but you have to use this to get it to drop in. Maybe. I might have to Oh no, we had it. We shouldn't have gone back. It was pushing this piece out. Uh, let's see if we can reset it somehow. There, I think that might have done it. There we go. Now there's something I can feel it sitting in there. Oh, and then that pushes back in. Okay. So can I pull this out? comes out a little bit, but I can't grab it. I can't... Oh, is that let the... This pin out? Okay, I can see that this yellow piece is blocking this hole here. Uh, so I think I need to just move it out of the way, and then something will drop out. I'm not 100% sure on the mechanism for this. How to get whatever it is to drop into here correctly. Let's zoom out just a tad so my hands aren't off screen. Maybe when we finish this, we'll be able to see what. And then I bet you if we get that pin out, we can do something with this here, because there's a little hole there. to go clockwise with it. wonder if this is tied to this. Let's, well, first let's... see what the mechanism is. Probably not. Well, I wonder 
if it makes a difference. I just rotated it 180 degrees. It probably makes a difference. Come on, we had it. We shouldn't have gone back. I'm tapping it, I'm not banging it, I'm being gentle. Oh, there we go, okay. Is that all the further it goes out? Surely not. It needs to go down a little bit further than that. Hmm. I think we determined that I can push up on it, but that doesn't do anything. Now I gotta figure out how to get this back again. I don't know what the mechanism is for this. We're dropping something into here, as shown with this, which as we're turning it is um, catching on probably a vertical piece here. So there's probably a, a bar like this. Uh, we put it in here, as we rotate it through, it catches on a vertical piece, which is then pushing this out. Um, and then once it's out of the way, something's going to fall out of this hole. I'm just kind of baffled as to how to get it back into the starting position. Unless it's like, I wonder if it's living inside here, this disc. So I need to drop it out. Maybe this helps. And then do this. No. Well, at least we know we're on the right track. We're making correct movements. We're just, I'm just not 100% sure how it actually functions.
now. If I push this, I can push this in. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Okay. If I push this and push in here, it pops this out, which I think will give me a yes. Give me a little pin. Okay. But then what is, did I already do what I was supposed to here? Well, so does this fit here? No, probably fits here. Yep. And what, so I can just stop that from going up? Maybe that's the key. I have to um, keep this from sliding up and down. And then I can... Get it to fall in. Is there something else with this, or is that it? Oh, does it pull out? No, that's it. It's just just for holding this pin. The only place this pin fits is here. And then what do we got going on with these two holes? Something going to fall out? I think we still need to work on... I think... Once we get this out of the way, something is going to come out of here. Because this is blocking this. I just can't figure out how to get... Oh, did that... get this pin into here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I have to keep this down. Oh. Okay. Oh, we had it. There. Nope. I keep getting it and then somehow losing it. Rud. with the creator how I was stuck and he asked me to send him a picture and then as soon as I tried to do that this pin fell out so we've got this long pin now we're going to get our short pin back okay now let's see if we can figure out what to do from here I suspect it's with this Okay, see now that won't let me... Okay, so what I did... Uh, I have this slid all the way this way. Uh, and I stuck this long pin. Here's what my thoughts are. I'm going to stick this long pin in here. And it's going to sit like this. In the red piece. Uh, and affecting something here. And then I'm going to take the small pin. And this will be used as leverage. I'll use, take the small pin, put it here. Slide it down and this will do something. You see now this won't this won't go down because this the long pin is interacting with something over here. So oh did we start this? I think we did. Did we forget to start this? Okay well we haven't actually done anything aside from me just showing you. Alright 
So we're going to pull on it. Yep, it's spring loaded. Oh, okay. And it drops this red piece down. Okay. And then will this yellow piece slide down? And then can we push up the pick? Oh no. Oh, we're right there. This needs to come out of the way a little bit more. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe it needs to go here. And then... I feel like we're right there. Now this is stuck. We got the red piece down. This yellow piece is in the way still. I never did figure out what's up with this ball bearing. Um, let's take a look down. Okay, that yellow piece needs to slide over some more. And then I'll be able to take this out. But it seems we're stuck somehow. Something is stuck. And preventing this yellow piece from going back into its... Nope. Okay, now I think I can use this to pull this out of the way. Is it something with this? We're right there. We are literally right there. It needs to go over just a quarter of an inch. How do we... I can't pull it with this. Mm, this red piece. Whatever this red piece, the one that was right here, is now stuck. If I use this piece, no. have to do with the wheel? Surely not. We never did figure out what's up with the ball bearing. Shoot.
I think we're right there. It's got to be something with this ball bearing. What's the point of the ball bearing? And this. Because this fits in here nicely. I just stuck both of those pins in there to try and see if there's something I can push. It does not appear to be the case. Oh, oh, we just did. What was that? I felt a little bit of resistance when I did that. This needs to go over just one more step. And I think it has something to do with this. See how that's jumping? That's weird. Ah. Oh. There's definitely a button there. See how it's spring loaded? That it? Yes! Rock on! Hour 10? Is that showing up? Hour 10? Uh, I don't understand the ball bearing unless that's like the magnet for this. I'll ask what that's about. So we put these two pins in here, and there is another um, button of some sort. So that's probably, let's see, so I'm, I'm going to draw this here. So we've got, okay. So this is this red slider here. It's got a channel that passes through it like that. Uh, we're taking the long pin, sticking it through the channel, and then here, I'm guessing it looks something like this, uh, is the red piece. You can't see it anymore, but the red piece that was right here. So this is the red piece, this is the yellow piece. Um, I don't understand the point of the channel on the yellow piece. Maybe that's just for resetting it. Um, so we stick the long pin in here, use the short pin and grab it, pull down. So this and this go down. And when this red piece is out of the way, this slides over. So it ends up looking like... I mean, that's drawn pretty hastily, but like this. But then there's another block here, which I think looks like this. Um, and we take our pins. So we have our long pin, our short pin, and then our P piece. So we stick them in, and we're pushing this up out of the way while simultaneously... Um, oh no, this still does go up and down, so that's not totally relevant. Uh, and then the yellow piece will slide over, so it ends up looking like... This is our, our final configuration, and then once we have that out of the way, we can push the pick up and out. 
Uh, I did find out what the wheel mechanism is here. It's very nifty. I'm, I promised that I wouldn't um, give any spoilers as to how how that functions. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of this to send to the creator. Uh, I'll ask about the ball bearing. I suspect if I had to guess, that is the magnet that holds this in place. That's the only thing I can see, because it doesn't move anywhere aside from just the little like chamber that it's in. So we ended up using just an ever slight amount of force at the end. You have to use this to push the pickup, which pushes this just the last tiny bit out of the way. So I think the chamber is just for resetting it. I'm gonna or the channel, grab it with this and push it back over. So let's go ahead and do that. Yep. Okay, there's our red piece. This was that's right. Okay. This is it's a nifty mechanism, but it's very difficult to um doesn't have anything to do with this. This only has to do with this. So it's kind of a nice little I don't want to call it a red herring. It kinda is. Uh because it feels like it should be a part of this, just where it's sitting, but it's actually just for this. Well, now it doesn't, like I said, it's a cool mechanism, but it's very difficult to um, repeat consistently. I can't remember if this has anything to do with it. I don't think it does. So there's definitely a little bit of luck in figuring it out. Um, figuring out the first time. Alright, I'll, I'll just have to do it on camera. I know how it works, it's just, uh, it's a little finicky. I'll say that. Okay, we'll get it back together. We can put this one back in in the meantime. I'm not sure if it has to do with, it might, the bottom wheel. I'll have to look. He sent me the schematic. He or she, honestly, I'm not sure if it's, so forgive me if I'm misspeaking. Um, okay, we'll get it back uh, on our own. So that is the Pick Me puzzle from Selkis, Selkis FR. Uh, is what their he or his or her full screen name is. Um, very enjoyable. Uh, great, great uh, first puzzle from them. Uh, I can't wait to see what they have in store. Difficulty, I'd give it maybe a like a seven, maybe. This wheel part is definitely exceptionally tricky. Um, but after that, you can kind of uh, work it out just by the tools you have and a little bit of um, deducing, a little bit of logic. Uh, aesthetics and overall design, 10 out of 10. I love it. I think it's great looking. It's a nice little, you know, 
hand size thing and we had how many steps did we have? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight steps in this little tiny uh, thing. So enjoy that very much. And reasonably priced too. I think I paid um, 80 bucks for it maybe. I don't know. It's it's under 100. It's very, uh, very reasonably priced. So if you do get a chance to, to buy one, I suggest doing so. Uh, so that is it for this one. Don't forget to check out uh, Moonplay Cosmetics. Don't forget to check your 20% discount at Midnight CBD. Like, subscribe, comment as usual. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time.